Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, I took a long break. Anyway, I wanted to do this fast, how to do fast uh, curls for Betty Bang hair. And just some inspiration to get you getting dressed. I know a lot of people are just losing their motivation and myself included. So I wanted to do some videos to help you get your hair done. So I'm using a one inch gold Helen of Troy curling iron available at Sally's or online, Amazon, whatever. And I'll put a link in my Amazon store um, and some links down below with the products. So I'm just going in and doing some big long barrel curls, scrunching them up. You can either rewrap them with your finger or just scrunch them like I'm doing. And then take a metal two prong clip and then put on the curl because the heat molds the hair and that'll help hold the curl. And so that just gives you some nice, fluffy, easy waves if you don't want to do the traditional vintage wave. And as you see, some of my hair fell out. Don't worry about it. You can go back in, grab some hair. At the very end, I'm going to pop in a bunch of curls just because it happens. And so that'll just give it a lot of volume as well. And then I pre-sprayed it with the anti-humidity hairspray, which I will list below. And I found that hairspray has really been helping. I spray it before I style my hair and it was really been helping cut down on the frizz. It doesn't get rid of all of it, but it's cut down on a ton of it. So um, once again, I'm going in on each side. I just split the hair in two and I'm doing long sections like that, which may or may not be correct, but it works for me and it may work for you. So uh, this iron is set on the hottest setting and I found that really helped. And as you can see, I get a nice ringlet. It doesn't have to be perfect. I try to get my ends in as best as possible because I don't like them all scraggly, but uh, I don't really stress about it. The whole point of this is just to get, be able to do a hairstyle that's easy to do and quickly. Now that piece is quite big. So, um, and that's okay because you may not have time. So you can do maybe five sections on each side of your head and go. So what I do for that is um, I will use two clips and I'll crisscross them just to hold it. And I'll roll it up like that, like I'm showing you. One there and then one across from it just so that it holds it. And so you can do larger sections if you want to if you're really crunched for time. So I find I always seem to do that on the back of my hair and always seems the longest part, which is can be also the hardest, but don't worry, you can make it fluffy and curly. So I'm gonna grab the second section and I'm gonna go in and do the same. This time I'm starting from the back and um, I did that on purpose so that I can show you. You can also just take a clip and section off the hair if you're finding, as you see, that it's getting difficult to work with. Um, some people like to use, work from the back of the hair because it is the longest, you want the heat to mold it the most. And so I'm just going to take a big clip after I curl this and put it um, where on the hair that I'm not using just to keep it clean and easier for me to grab. So the point of these tutorials are really to show you how to work with your own hair, which can be the most challenging uh, thing to do. It's always nice when someone else does your hair or if you have a professional, you know, but we're not all professionals, so we want to go in and do the best hair we can. So as you see, I'm just crisscrossing it. I can't see what I'm doing, so I do your best. And then I'm just gonna section. I'm grabbing about one inch sections all around. Uh, you can go bigger, you can go smaller, depending on your hair, hair type, and only you will know that. And it's a messy curl, as you can see, so I'm not grabbing it right from the, from the, the top and, and winding it. it. Some of it has fallen out. But regardless, I want the curls on the bottom of the hair, so for me, it's not a big deal. And then I go in and just curl. If I had more time and I wanted this to be for a shoot or um, just a special day, I would definitely take more time sectioning it and being very careful about missing hairs. But I wanted something that I could do quickly and still get that volume on the days I don't want to wear it straight. And like I said, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to pop in some curls. And this just takes the pressure off and the stress of trying to do each one perfect. But this, doing it this technique will give you some nice body and waves and it will hold longer. So like I said, I pre-sprayed it with an anti-humidity spray and I found that really helps. And then um, we're going to go in there and we're just going to keep twisting that curl. Now I'm not holding it very long. As you can see, I hold it for maybe two seconds and let it go. And I always put a heat protectant when I'm blow drying my hair. So um, I don't reapply it when I curl my hair because I figure it's in there. But you should be using one if you're concerned about your hair overheating. So that's why I don't curl my hair very long during the week. Like I said, if it was a special occasion, I'd probably take more time. So I'm just going to do some smaller sections up at the front. 
and I pull the curling iron almost to the end. As you can see, the little ends may, may stick out and I just pumped it and then I'll roll it up again. And it just grabs it a little bit without burning it. And we're gonna go in again and use a two prong metal clip. I got these clips from Sally's. You can get them on Amazon. I have a link in my store to make it easy for you. So that'll all be down below. Okay, and then I go in and do the front curl. For me, the front curls are the most important. They're a little shorter and I like that framing around the face. And we've got a nice ringlet. Like I said, only holding it for a second or two. Scooping it up. And this is how if you wanna just grab the curl and scoop it up versus scrunching it up. It's gonna do the same thing. And you wanna get the hair on the inside. There you go. So now we're ready and I leave it for about five to 10 minutes on a day where, like I said, I want it to be special. I will leave it up to 20 minutes just so the curl really holds because the heat is what's gonna give you that, that flowy wave. So I'm just gonna go around to each section. I started with the section I originally started with. So this is the first side I started with and I'm starting from the back and I'm just, um, so that it has as mo the most amount of time. I run my fingers through the curls and you can see I got nice body and curls. And like on a good day, I would take my time and style that into vintage waves. But on a, a day where I'm just running around, um, you want to just pop in some curls, grab those missing hairs and make it easy and still have the same illusion or effect for the hairstyle. And we're just gonna go with the second side and do the same thing, take all the clips out If you have questions, leave them down below. And if you're enjoying this video and you find it helpful, please click the subscribe button and the bell for notifications on my latest videos. And as you can see, we got a lot of body. I do have layers um, just on the ends, like it's a one long layer on the top and that helps if you wanna get that body. So I'm using an ion pomade. I love the smell of this pomade. I'm gonna go in and smooth the frizzies on top, which like I said, I don't have as many as I used to because I've been using this anti-humidity uh, hairspray, but you can see all the body in the hair and you can just keep running your fingers through the curls and they'll drop a little bit through the day, but they won't go away completely and take your time framing it how you want around your face. I personally love this style. It's easy. It's fun. It gives me a lot of body without uh, going nuts trying to do perfect curls all around. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much. Oh, last step. I forgot. I'm going to add in some uh, Ion Brilliant Sleeking. It just gives your hair a little bit of shine, which I love. And I just j very uh, sparingly add it throughout the curls to give it shine and just smooth any, any little hairs. And there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, leave your questions below. Go in and pop some extra curls uh, where you may have missed pieces or it's just a little flat to give that extra body. I love ringlets, so I do ringlets. This is my own twist on a uh, Fast Buddy page hairstyle, so I hope you like it and you find it useful. Don't be scared about the messy curls, it works. Um, thank you.